a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the uh, Gullah culture. It's a translation from the uh, King, King James Version of the Holy Bible. You know that version of it, like the, the Marlowe language, you know, the Shakespeare language. Anyway, I've been been in the back. See, because usually I take any page. Look at that, I can take any page. Should I stay in the back? Oh, boy. Nah, I can't, sorry. <laughs> usually I just pick any spot like this. Oh, this is a Sunday. I should explain everything. Well, let me do this first. So, uh, I'm going to go to Galatians. I can't read this. Uh, need my need my glasses. Need my glasses because in this in this Bible, with the translation, what happens is you have the Gullah on this side, and then you have this. This is the uh, old English, you know, on this side here. So to read it, I need the thing for the old English, especially. Okay, so let's go to um. Let's see, 6 and 6 is 12, and 4 is 18. Is this right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's right. No, it's not right. No, it's 10 and 16. No, it's not right. Okay, uh, okay, what the hey. uh, six, Page 646. We go to uh, Galatians 3, 4. Go, let's go to Galatians 3, and uh, we'll go to, I don't know, what do you want to do? Uh, let's go to 20. No, let's go to 20. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go to 27. Why not? Uh, 27. Everyone of on a one going to get baptized. Baptized. On a come far be one with Christ. And so on a all come far be like Christ. And the translation of uh, Galatians 3.27 is... For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. That makes sense, too. Okay, the, we usually do these well. We do these twice. So here we go again. Galatians um, 3.27 Everyone of honor would done get baptized on a come far be one with Christ and so on a all come far be one be like Christ. Yeah, they both make sense. And here's the translation once again. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Makes sense. There we go. So that's what I do. Oh, this is a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, on Sundays I explain everything. I read these every, every, uh, every day, which is going to change because I am traveling. Um, when I get to Africa, I'm going to be doing something else. Well, whatever it is, but let me explain, uh, oh, okay, uh, right there you have, uh, uh, Hammonds, this artist made this, uh, red, black, and green flag, is a, uh, what he was thinking, I have to look, look that up, what he was thinking, but, but basically, you know, the black liberation flag that Marcus Garvey, the Garveyites used, you know, red, black, and green, you know, the, uh, red for the blood, the black for the race, and the green for the vegetation of the land, well, that's what we used to say it in the 60s, so I have that, this young hand band here, I don't know who it is, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's on a calendar. I haven't really even looked at it, but uh, this, this, the uh, young man is a scholar. Now, when I say scholar, I don't really mean in the school system as much as I mean um, your scholarship can come from your study. That's your scholarship. So this is this is a, this is a, 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 a image of of someone in study or has who has I guess since he has the tassel and all that stuff, who has uh, completed study. So I'm into I'm into study, you know. Or, or like Mr. Newy Fuller would say, you know, still learning. Um, oh, this here, this is new here. This thing right here, uh, that's the that's the thing called a wisdom knot, and uh, I've adapted it as my personal symbol, so I'm not starting to put that in, in stuff. Oh, the glasses because I can't read without them. You know, with the, the Bible and all that stuff, right? Uh, and then here, oh, this here, this is um, oh. I started this thing, the, the, this, 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 I've had this kente cloth for a long, kente cloth comes in different things, people know certain things, you know, and I talk about the Nancy Pelosi kente cloth, but, you know, but I'm, just, I'm just saying, so I really like this particular one, I don't know why, because, maybe because it's unique, I've never seen it before, um, so I use that as a, you know how the priest come out and do some sort of ceremony, right, that's what I do, so I, I use it for, for my head, uh, for my mouth, and for my heart. And I do it any any order I want. Well, either either head, heart.
heart, hand, I mean, head, uh, mouth, heart, or heart, mouth, head, one or the other. And then I have my, uh, this is what's called my, my one. Everybody thinks it's for like what, communism? Well, this is what's wonderful about being me, right? Think what you want. <laughs> my reality is different. Um, this is uh, my Ogun cap. Ogun is the is the Orisha, you know, the selected head of. Um, they know they know him as war, but that's not exactly uh, accurate. Hold on, let me. Maybe I should do that. Hold on, okay. I look look at the rest of the set. I'll try to explain it to you. Can you see the rest of the set there? Yeah, no, you can't. Oh, too bad. Hold on, no, I gotta get this. This is very important because a lot of people get misled about this and that and the other. And where, now that I need it, I can't find it, of course. I know it's right here. Sitting right here. And I can't find it. Oh, boy. Jeez. Uh, oh, come on. Sorry to hold you up. But don't go any place. Let's just say every Sunday, the, the um, what do you call it? The week, oh, I know it is right here. Sorry. Okay. So uh, Sundays for these these uh, sermons, they're designed so that uh, basically what I'm doing is um, the idea was that when the when the when the enslaved people were were newly freed, um, they had no language. Well, well, they had language, but I mean they couldn't read. You know, they was illiterate, right? Not that there was some illiterate just means that you 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 don't do the reading and writing thing, right? So I wanted to experience what it was like. Hey, maybe, you know, if I was, what would it be like? So I put myself in this head, this this Gigi head, because I have have Gullah Gigi on my um, on my maternal side. So uh, so that's what I wanted to do. That's what this exercise is about. So in a matter of months, well, maybe it may take longer. We'll find out, you know. Well, first of all, if I can get a better command of the uh, of the language, and then like that. But actually, I'm doing all this now. Man, sooner I think. Maybe in the fall sometime, I'm going to go down to South Carolina and they'll say, oh, you're not from here. Why are you trying to perpetrate a fraud by talking like us? You know, I'm going to say, well, I, I, I get the explanation whether they accept it or not. But but the Ogun thing goes like this. OK, so you look like that. Now, you know, you if you're being communist, I guess, <laughs> not communist, but if you be a soldier, a revolutionary, you wear it like that. It's interesting when I have this, when I wear this hat in South Africa, because they all come, they have this whole socialist because of the struggle and it came from and the, and the socialist kind of thing and the, and the, and the Soviets helped them like that. So they're very respectful. And they, and that's the other thing, South Africa political list, they, they, Cuba and them supposed to be, Cuba and South Africa supposed to be right together, but I don't know what's happening with them. So that's why you usually wear it. But however, I wear it like this because I'm doing this, this is what I'm doing. I, I call it my ecumenical. <laughs> medical sorry man you know hey they rip us off we can rip them off did you know that i grew up catholic did you know uh, right now i'm a i'm just calling an, an eclectic pluralist that's like come from Mr. nearly full of junior well i was that before he's named it that because i was a deist well i was i am but here's the thing the catholic church does not mess with any religion right that will mess with any religion but the one religion they won't mess with is voodoo. Voodoo out of West Africa. Oh, this this, this symbol comes out of, of West Africa, but from the Akan tradition. And so, oh, brother, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, no. Here's the deal. If you go to a real voodoo ceremony, which I've been, uh, shout out to James Small, um, then, you, then you, you'll say, oh, and you realize Catholicism is nothing but voodoo for dummies. Just letting you know. Okay. Okay. Back to Ogun. I'm going to tell you this. Now, Ogun. Uh, oh, here. Here's a depiction of Ogun right here. Selective head. Now, you'll see he's got the, um, what the, 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 the saber or sword. That's iron, right? And he's got the grass skirt, right? Because he's, he's a, he's a basic kind of, kind of guy. Just, just like even St. Anthony is a basic kind of guy. He's the one that started the, the monk, the, the monk. The, the solitary monk thing in the West, you know, for the thing. Anyway, let me just read. It's not a lot. Ogun. Ogun is the god of iron, war, and labor. He is the owner of all technology, and because this technology shares in his nature, it is almost always used first for war. That's very interesting because you, you get a lot. But, but it said what it says. As a legba opens the roads it is 
Ogun that clears the roads with his machete. He is recognized in uh, he is recognized in the number seven and the colors uh, green and black. Right. Let's hold on a second. This is kind of I forgot about this. Do you realize my my destiny number? You know, it's like seven. You realize that my first name adds up to a seven. Okay, a uh, green and black. They say right here, right? Prayer. Oh, then have a prayer or a goon in in, in uh, Europe or whatever. It's. Then say if a legba is the messenger of the Orishas telling them of the ceremonies we are performing, we are performing in their honor. A goon is the worker. He is the owner of iron, and therefore of the knife. No centria initiation can be performed without his aid. This um the yeah, so thus. In uh, somebody, Matazalan, Maratenza, Mar I don't know. He has the honor of bringing uh, the Ewa uh, out of his throne and presenting him to the drums. Okay, Ogun's colors are most often represented as green and black with a little red. Green and black with a little red. So, see, this is the black side, right? And then on this side, is green so and the way of course the red comes through so what i'm wearing this cap for everybody else is whatever they think it is but for me it's my ogun cap you see now what they don't tell you here what's because i've had done some other reading ogun also remember say a leg opens up the thing but ogun clears the path so the the, 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 the thing goes that the Every time the Orishas want, want to come down to earth, the selected heads. I don't know what they talk about God here. The selected head. What happened was the grass would grow back and they couldn't go through. So yeah, Allegba opened it up, but they can't get through. Oh, what a trick. Oh, Allegba is such a trick. So, I'm sorry. I mean, not talk about Allegba, but you know, stuff happens, you know. He's the one that got Ogun in trouble with it. <laughs> I didn't know. He's the one that got Oya in trouble with with Ogun because Ogun was Oya's first, was Oga. Oh, oh, Oya was Ogun's husband. Then Oya being Oya, whatever, having Ogun being Ogun. Oya says, <laughs> and she went and found, you know, uh, Shango. And then, oh, I thought that's a long story. I did a play called Oya one time. Okay, so that's what it is. You know, uh, black, green with a little bit of red. Okay, that's my goon cap. But that's what's, what else I want to tell you. Oh, let me get this thing done. Uh, what else here? Oh, that that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a thing that you don't see. I should pull the thing down. Which is, uh, this is uh, was gifted to me. This is a, a I had this a friend in South Africa that's just so fiercely Zulu. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I live in a in a closer stronghold, not Zulu. But anyway, she's fiercely Zulu, so I have this like African Zulu has my back. This here is my my grand nephew when when he was very kid. This when the pandemic first. I guess he was two here, and see he automatically made that fist. This nobody told him to do it, so I like that picture, right? And so he's just on my right shoulder, you see, whenever I sit now. And I carry him with me all the time. And this is my No More Radio flag, which is, well, this is my this No More Radio. No More, well, you have to figure that out. No figure it out. I had the, the No More Radio I've had for years. I mean, I started No More Radio in like 80, whatever it is, 80, 86, something like that, whatever it is. So that's the set. And I think, Maybe maybe tomorrow Sunday, uh, right? Yeah, I have enough time. I'll do a, I'll do a, a later, but I'll do a um, a, a a gala reading tomorrow. Then this set you won't see anymore until I get back in August. If I can back up like that. Okay, so just to let you know, you know, this is this is the Sundays. I will break this thing down for you, and I I think I broke it down for you. Okay, so there you go, little you know. Messages, suggestions, everything from me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.